Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and I am here on the GTI server in Alpha 7. Uh, I believe this is episode 11. Yeah, I'm going to go with 11. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so last episode you saw me... Uh, take the SV around and and look for Sath and Neo and, and Pentaxid and that. Well, uh, when I got back after mining some of the Neo and, and Sathium, I got back, turned it into some hardened plates and upgraded the HV here. It doesn't look like it, but it's actually all hardened steel now. So uh, let's take a look at its stats actually looked at the stats so it is now a well it's level 10 now it's not it's not just the lowly old hover box anymore still class one um, it's gone up to 41.1 tons though so that's that's quite the increase and it's now requires more iron uh, a whole bunch more sathium which it didn't really require any before uh, a little bit more copper, not really much more silicone, but uh, yeah, so it's a little bit more expensive to make because of the, especially because of the sathium. But there you have it, uh, hover box upgraded to hardened steel, and I also did that for well here we'll just go it this way. So what I did is with good old bug eye, I did the whole thing in hardened steel also. But you can't tell because the texture is the same in hardened steel too. So that was great. Uh, let's see. I now have invested into this thing, the bug eye bus is 878 iron oh also what I forgot to mention was I kind of changed out the rocket launchers for homing rocket launches because I hit level 15 going back to Ninga's really quick after hardening up the SV and getting some more pent um, and killing, I just had to kill some, a couple more critters, and boom, I hit 15. Came back home, and that's where we're at. And sorry, let's get back to the stats here. So you can see a little bit more iron required, uh, and a bunch of sathium now. So also the arrestrum zascosium. Uh, that's what actually, that's what it took to make four of those missile launchers. So they're like 41 restrooms zascosium each, something like that. Ouch, that's painful. That's pretty painful. So that was pretty much my entire stash of power coils and restroom zascosium that I'd looted so far, just to make those four missile launchers. But now, because I have guided missiles, uh, no, not only is it just sexier to say guided missile as opposed to just missile. All right, well, I guess they're not missiles; they're rockets. So let's say guided, guided rockets. Are they rockets or missiles? Now, now I got to look this up. Jeez. So, oops. Like, where is it? It's not the rocket launcher. Rocket rocket it's got to be a rocket right so either shooting rockets or homing rockets uh, I think the homing just sounds sexier and not only that they obviously they're easier to hit your target with because they track your target for moving targets that's so huge makes a huge difference you use way less ammo also which is 
new to seven is the addition to Prometheum as a propellant uh, for ammo. And okay, that's great and all, but why why do regular rockets cost fifty per stack of five? We're talking fifty pellets per stack of five as opposed to guided only require five yes but guided do require five cobalt also but when you look at do the comparison cost point point to point um, it requires a full or a promethium per regular rocket and it only requires one, it requires five cobalt ing ingots and one pellet. No, five, it would be one, one cobalt ingot and one pellet per missile. So basically you're getting 10 times the amount out of your promethium, right? because you're only spending a tenth of that you're, you're spending one pellet as opposed to a full ore. So, wow, the difference in fuel consumption alone is huge. I mean, I, I made a thousand rockets there and that was a whole stack of ore, whole stack of promethium. That would have only been 100 and 100 cobalt. I'm, I'm actually better with spending the 100 cobalt than saving the 900 promethium. So there's that. Uh, those three things make it just better. Now, obviously, the, they're super expensive now, and it just cost me everything to make them. So I don't want to lose them. I don't want them to get blown off because that would be tragic. I don't have a way of replacing them at this point. So they are kind of... Um, they're really kind of cherished. I don't want them getting destroyed, so I'm going to have to not put this thing in super great danger stupid situations i think taking on a poi at a time is fine but multi at a time and i don't know anyway today because we have i'm going to go back down into the um let's just get back down into the uh ship here oh, did i miss the i did Go back down. Okay, so let's just jump in. We don't need to uh, wander around. Because I'll show you what the resources are that I've got here. So let's go into, let's check out our fuel. We've got 135 refined pent now. And we also have in, we have 63 in the tank. So we have a couple hundred AU we can travel. I think we need to continue on. We, we need to find somewhere to put up a base. We, have, we don't even have a base right now. We just have this CV, which can't grow vegetables right now. So it's not really a base in my eyes. It's more of an RV. You can kind of live on it, but not really. Um, okay. So I, oh, actually, before we jump out of the menu, let's go into the fuel and ammo because I wanted to actually show that to you too. I'm, I'm building them right now. Uh, so this is also my smelter too. So it builds my fuel, it builds my ammo, and it smelts my ore. So that's plugging away where, sorry, uh, I'll show you the cost here. So 130 MML or MM MSLs, that's the SV, just standard rockets you can see require 50 Promethium pellets per five missiles and 20 steel, one electronic. So these guys require a little bit more steel, so five more steel. Uh, but only five Promethean pellets and five cobalt. So you're spending, you're spending five more cobalt, five more steel per missile to save nine pellets per missile. 
or no, one one cobalt, one steel extra per missile to save nine pellets. To save ninety percent on the fuel. So I think it's a good trade, and they're just a much better missile. So I that that was one of the reasons I spent all of my restroom making them, because I think that is my best investment right now in my restroom. That'll also make us viable out in space now, taking the SV out, shooting things that are moving. Uh, we can do a lot more damage, pinpoint accuracy, hammer away, try and delve into the core of some of these ships right away without really spending a lot of ammo. And that's the other thing. Guided missiles use less ammo because you hit your target more often. So there's that factor too. There's just just better. Had to hit level 15 and that's what I did and that was the very first thing I chose when I hit level 15. We also chose a couple other things like the uh, turrets for the rocket turrets for the CV. I, I, I don't have the power claws to make them. I can make I think one I can make the rocket turrets for the HV and I was actually uh, seriously considered doing that because that they use the, the exact same ammo as the they, they use these so I can just keep spinning these up forever um, and they're cool it's awesome they can take on they can take on POIs so I'm thinking of putting four on the uh, uh, HV I'm thinking of actually putting four on the HV and just leaving the minigun the single minigun turret up on the top so, and these, these do fast, these do good damage enough to take on drones and stuff for sure. So it's, uh, it's just not quite as effective against Predator. Maybe I'll just make two, put two on the front. That means I only have to make one because I looted one. Yeah. I looted one from smashing the CV. On Ninges once with the with the SV last time I was out with my regular rockets and I got some I got a actually here I'll show you so I looted a pulse laser I looted this some fuel tank the rocket turret uh, I looted some more fuel tanks s some other blocks too um, and now I've got a bunch of blocks. What I'm planning on doing is I'll just put all this into uh, my next CV factory build. I mean, I could do it right now. I could just plunk it all in there if I wanted. It's not really that bad of an idea. In fact, why don't I? So <laughs> I'll go in here. We'll bring up my uh, big death trap. See, oh, that's... Okay, so what is just my death trap? It's level 20. Size 3, big death trap, size 6. Ouch. And 15,000 sathium, 11,000, so way stripped down. Huh, still a lot of arrestrium, zascosium, and neo, and sath. It's going to take me a long time to accumulate the, the stuff for that. I think I want to do this one though. I'll just keep throwing stuff into it and eventually when I hit level 25 I'll, uh, hopefully I'll have enough into it to actually spawn it. You can see it's actually a it's not actually size class 6. I don't know why it says that. It's it's actually only size class 3 when you spawn it so whatever. So I'm going to actually put that to my factory and what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw those rocket launchers into it right away. And you can see already in my factory, remember the overages from spawning the previous CV? Well, they're, they're there. It shows it already as available resources, which I'll just build on. So I've already got a bunch of stuff going in it. And that's awesome. Let's throw stuff in. So what I'll do is I'll grab pretty much... All this stuff I'm just not going to use right now. Uh, I can't use the armored concrete. 
an SV fridge. Don't need that. Don't need that. I need to throw those in anyway. Sure, I can throw that in. I'm going to use that down. I don't want to actually spend that right now. I'll do that one. I'll do that. Sure. Those I'm going to be using. So those, that's I'm going to be using. That I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be using those. Probably that. We'll put that in there. I'm going to use that. We'll do we'll do some better stuff than this stuff. So let's put uh, CV. Yeah, that's the only CV I'm going to have that's going to have a repair bay at this point. So uh, although it's not bad to put in this one that I have right now, it's true airtight. No, I don't want to get shot out from the bottom. Let's just. Oh wait, no, I don't want to. Uh, the cannon turrets. Yeah, I want to put that on my HV and we'll. Hold on to that for the, we, do we need another fuel tank now? We'll put that in there, that in there, that in there. Okay, so now let's see what we get when we put that stuff in the factory. So a fuel tank, didn't even notice it. Small gen, hardly a blip. Oh, we're getting a little bit off that. So this should give us some, um, a restroom, wow, 57 a restroom in Zaskosium for a repair bay. Ouch. Some fuel tanks, some stairs. We'll get the growing plots in there. We still need 18 more steel ones. Get that in there, that, that, that. Just dump all this stuff in here for now. You can see it's just building up. Oh, there we go. That gun actually was worth a lot of restroom Zaskosium. That's, that's excellent. Okay. Nice, nice. So we're we got a good chunk going now in there, just from just from stuff blocks that we had looted, and yeah, so excellent, excellent. That's uh that's pretty good, pretty good start. Almost a thousand neo in there already. Uh, and I haven't even put any ingots into it. This is all just parts, and it's actually probably drove. I didn't actually. We can go back to the library and see how long 643, and so it's down to 614. So all the parts that we just dumped in uh, just gave us um, what uh, 29, 29 minutes. Reduced it by 29 minutes. Okay. So yeah, you can see by putting parts in, it actually reduces the time significantly too. And that'll be the goal, is to put actual parts in that we loot. And eventually, we'll just be able to spawn it on looted parts. It's pretty cool. I like doing stuff like that in this game. Anyway, enough gabbing and getting cleaning up our inventory. I think I want to go somewhere. So let's take a look at where we should go. Um, I'm still not really comfortable with the amount of pentaxid we have. And since we've now got a combat capable SV, I think we should go to Akua Moon and smash that POI. And then we'll loot it and mine the Pentaxid that it's guarding. Does that sound good? That sounds awesome. Let's go do that. So let's turn our power back on to our engines. And we are ready to rock and roll. Turn in the direction of the planet, get up to speed. It's about 50 or something. Then we can jump hitting the K. Okay, so we're back in a cool orbit. And this is a PvP zone. And I have fixed the, updated the orbit playfield to have the current uh resource the structured resource that it was supposed to have when it started in multiplayer and it it is now tiered where you don't get neo and sath in the orbit of of akua and omicron anymore so yeah you have to make a well or or you do what i did and loot all the freaking drones and make a bloody SV right away and not even make an S, S 
or sorry, make a CV without making an, uh, an SV. Yeah. Anyway, let's not dwell on that. We won't dwell on that. Um, I need to go to the moon, so let's go way over to the other side. Or if it's going to be... Oh, I got lots of power. Let's get up to speed. And what we'll do is we'll just turn the auto brake off and just glide. You can see our power consumption goes down to pretty much nothing. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I just want to get around the astrofoil without going through it, just in case there's... Well, I could deal with any drones, really. And you know what? We, we, it's probably a good idea to map it out anyway, because these are static spawning points for the mineral asteroids. So I think... I think if I run across them and mark them, uh, even if I wipe the playfield again, because let's say it gets too busy as a as a starting playfield, eventually with too many bases and stuff, I can force everyone out and wipe the playfield, uh, make it easier for starting players again. That's a pretty common thing that a lot of servers do is they they wipe the starting sectors once a month uh, on a sp very specific day. So yeah, you gotta you gotta be be aware of that sometimes when you're starting on a pl uh, new a m new server. You maybe aren't aware that they wipe it maybe the next day or something. So. So try and find out if they wipe it before you place all your stuff and leave it overnight. Because <laughs> that kind of sucks, having to do a fresh start to get your basics back. Okay, well, I don't see any resources yet, so we'll just keep, keep flying her along. And I did put uh, hardened steel underneath this thing now so it's not just gonna it's not just a complete tin can anymore it's still pretty tinny but uh it's now it can take a hit before it pops the core i still gotta finish pretty much hardening the whole thing I'll eventually convert it all to hardened steel and probably put in uh, some more thrusters in it. Although it's not that bad right now. For a, for a starter SV, it's not that bad. What do we got over there? It's a space drone. Okay, so I think we should, uh, I think we should go kill it. It's coming at us anyway, so... Are you not coming at us? Really? Come on. Why aren't I shooting? Oh, is it behind? Uh, it's behind the asteroid. That's why. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to be sneaky. So sorry. It didn't work. But I'll take your bits. I'll take your bets. So, I'm going to make sure my jetpack's on. It is. I'll just jump out. Spawn my drone really quick. And fly up. I'll just quickly hit my tab in and out just to get my radar back. Where is this thing? There it is. Oops. Oh, there was juicy bits in there. Power coils and other goodies. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the, I still do have kind of issue with the amount of stuff you get from drones. It's a little bit over the top in my, in my opinion. Uh, especially non, like the space drones, one thing. You got to get up in space. It requires a little bit of effort. You need a SV or CV. So, okay. But regular drones, ugh, just a little, like maybe just take capacitor devices out of the loot table. Completely. Just way too much Neo. Okay. 
so let's continue on. It's getting, it's kind of dark, eh? Is it hard to see? Let's see what happens. What if I, oh, that looks horrible, so let's not do that. Well, you'll just have to grin and bear the darkness. We're going to be going to the dark side of the moon, and there is a freighter there. We need to stay away from that. So let's go. Oh, and I see a resource asteroid. So let's go mark that. Prometheum. It's always handy. Always handy. And in multiplayer, these respawn every six hours I think at this point so might be three hours but I know it's not more than six hours okay so let's uh, mark this really quick we're not going to stop and get it we actually have quite a bit of Prometheum right now we're not really hurting for that stuff right now what we're hurting for is a restroom Zascosium Do a quick little fly through here. Usually, you find one, you find another really quick right after something else. No, no, no. Okay, so keep heading to the moon. I'm going to go to the dark side of the moon here. stay out of the um, all the AI spawn stuff like the drones and carriers and stuff like that they won't come to this side I'm pretty sure at least I've never I've never experienced drones way out on the other side of the moon in Akua never so I mean maybe we'll see Just a little bit more. Oops. Yeah, we're getting close enough now. We can start heading in. So, odds are we'll come on down on top of the drone base again, right? Right? Because that's kind of our thing. And I don't see... I don't see any POIs. Just kind of drifting down. Let's do some night sight for right now. Although, you know what, I, yeah, there's POIs right there. You know what, I, I think I, I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather just leave the CV out in space. There's no need to bring it down. So let's just uh, get back into orbit here. Not sure why I went into the moon's orbit or into the moon's atmosphere anyway. That was that wasn't really what I planned originally. Okay, so night vision really sucks out in space, doesn't it? There, even though it's darker, it just looks better. So we'll just we'll just I think we'll just hang out here. This will be fine. I don't think anything's going to spawn and we're in we're in PVE space. So Yeah, let's just let's just hang out here. So I'm going to jump out put my jetpack on. Well, 
or well, I, what? It, sh why do I not have? It's not showing that I have my jetpack on, but I do. <sighs> okay. Well. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh. Stupid thing. Good old alphas. See if I if I turn it off. I am now. Yeah, it's not showing it on. I don't know what's going on. Do I? Yeah, it, it's obviously working, or else I wouldn't be able to move, right? I wouldn't be able to fly or nothing. Put that on. Huh. Whatever. It's still functional. Let's just keep going without it. We'll, um, first of all, I need to get my stuff. So let's get our ammo. I made 600 missiles. We can put this stuff away. We looted because we don't need to take that with us. And so that's plenty of oxygen and, and that. Oh, I can get rid of this water. I don't need necessarily water with me. And stick that in the food processor. Okay. And food. I'll need food. So fridge. Come on. Hmm. Need to eat right now, so let's do that. We'll just fill up on some salami, and then we'll take like. I'm hoping to find some. I've got 11 emergency on me. I think if we bring five, that should be sufficient. We might kill some Xerax and get more. The only problem is fighting on the moon uh, is really harsh because you gotta have a your Eva boost on and so your armor's just nuked because of it. Well that's okay. I think we can deal with it anyway. We've got some healing on us, so we'll try. We'll try. Oh, actually, I think I had some I think I had, what did I have in here? Do I have, yes I do, texture plant protein. I'm gonna grab a bunch of that. That stuff is awesome for healing. Cause it also provides food too and stamina. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge right away. So let's go into my fridge here. We'll just put the stuff in there and jump in the cab. Okay. Oops, let's just. <laughs> <laughs> here, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually get in here, and then we'll power it up, and it'll warm up as we cruise. You can see the temperature is slowly climbing here, now that we have it powered up. Now, I had to put another uh, RCS in, and it's still a little sluggish, so I might have to put another one after this. We'll see after we go attack this uh, this POI, and I've got oh, I've only got two thousand. I think that's good enough. We're get, we're we're not there to shoot the whole thing up. We're just there to knock out the turrets, take out the drones, and then go in by by foot, right? So let's let's try. Oh, you know what? I think, I think, hang on, let's just, let's go like this, and then we'll go like this, and this is, no, we want, uh, oh, that's kind of weird, okay, we want, um, I want to, have my jetpack on so I go like I don't know if I have it on oh god I probably I don't know so if I go like this and I don't think I do there there yeah now I got it on okay god okay so that's a little bit annoying now that I don't know if I have it on or not it's okay so let's open this and what we can do is we can spawn our drone and access everything in our ship this way. So uh, while we're in here, we'll just get a little bit more 
of the ammo going. One, got another thousand built. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take my pulse rifle and I'm going to put it in the other one because I think right now I can upgrade it to a pulse T2. There we go. So it just needs another flux coil, oscillator, and pulse rifle. So there we go. It'll eat up my, hopefully my pulse rifle. Is there another one in there? So there's, I do not currently have another pulse rifle in there. No. Okay, good. Okay, so it'll consume my pulse rifle. There we go. Let's do that. Make, upgrade our pulse rifle to a T2. <coughs> do some better damage. And I don't have a I do have a uh, I looted a or I know I got that uh, enhanced minigun because of the quest killing all the drones so I have that where did I put that in my should I do that and no I got I got 1600 I think the T2 pulse is gonna be good I think it's going to be sufficient. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. Uh, magazine capacity 35. <clears throat> it's really fast, does good damage. Yeah, I think that's going to be, I think that's going to work for us. Uh, and then I can smash doors open with the pistol because I get all that free ammo, right? So, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That's the plan. Okay, and then so anything on us we can't lose well I mean everything else I can make again I don't need that much fuel let's dump some of that off or here let's fill all fill all can't fill all that um, get rid of like half of it so that we, at least we have a stack to come back to if we need to Okay, and our ammo should be done, so let's grab that, and we're out of here. Okay, off to the moon. No more dilly-dally. Off to the moon. <coughs> so, oops. Right, let's load everything, fill, fill, fill all, and though we don't need to uh, fill the warp tank, I'm not warping anywhere in this yet, yet, it, it's capable, just needs fuel, but because um, you saw me put the, uh, the warp tank in, I, it's all, it's all capable, but, okay, so, Please don't put me over a POI. I need to put on night vision. Sorry guys, I know the green ugliness is just, it's unseemly, but at least it's better than nothing. Okay, so I think we want to level off here. Uh, let's go on our map and see where that Pentaxin was. So it's way over there. What's this? The crash capital vessel. So, yeah, the seam. I saw the seam there just after the capital vessel, just on the other side of that. So let's head towards the capital vessel. I'll put a. I'm going to approach there. So that was the other one I need to get rid of. Yeah, I need to get rid of that one. Okay. So we'll head off on our merry little journey. Let's arm our... Load up the, the rockets. And hopefully we can... 
discover more deposits. There's the crashed capital vessel. We'll do a flyby over it. Whoa, even night vision. Can't see nothing when uh, when you're at that super dark spot of the of the night, and then it goes real bright. Okay, so we'll turn that off. <laughs> okay, uh, where are we here? So we're gonna keep going. I want to aim basically the direction we're going. So going that way across, facing that direction. is good. Okay. Now I believe even if this playfield got wiped and even the template for it, when it regenerated, it would have the same resource. It's exactly the same spot, I believe. Okay, so or is that the POI guarding it? I think that is the POI guarding it. Okay. So let's go see what he's got. See how, see, guided rockets are awesome too, I mean, take that guy out, okay, so did I take out all the turrets, let's take another quick look, and I want to look for the little, the little, uh, sentry guns, because they're still quite lethal, even though they don't have a lot of hit points, they do a lot of damage. is right there. Is that, is that a, did I blow the top off something? Is that what happened? Oh, is that a red? Oh, that's a, that's a, uh, a loot box, right? A nice ultra rare one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, nice. What else? Whoa! Aha! I saw you! Let's... I think I should take it out with my guns because... Come on, where are you? There we go. Okay, because that way I don't 
actually destroy any containers. So I'm assuming there's going to be another one on this side. Right? See why I like overthrusted ships because you can just you can go where you want to and stay where you want to. Okay. Because this there's only 0.66 gravity on the moon and the extra weight from the Sathium I haven't noticed. So that's really good. And really the the, the that one extra RC did make enough of a difference so I don't think I need to actually switch out more RCs. It's smooth and it's it's easy to stay on target and fly around. Okay, let's keep looking for shooty things. So I'm assuming, okay, so there's probably going to be one. Let's... Oh, did I just... Oh, there it is. Come on. Alright. Right there. But then I killed the... Did I kill the loot? Did I just kill the loot? No, I did not. Woo! Thank God. Okay. So, that means there's probably going to be one on each of these. Is that true? Yep. Okay, so... Let's deal with that. So we'll just... Let's turn around. And come in. Might have already blown that one out. There's no back wall to that. Okay. Oops. Yeah. Don't want to be uh, thieving out, jumping out of the ship when uh, I'm trying to do some. Oh! Whoa! 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 Okay. What else is shooting at me then? I killed one of them. Right on top <laughs> the whole time. Oh, that is too funny. So they were, yeah. <laughs> well, and you know, hardened steel makes derps uh, less uh, less disastrous, right? Okay. There's a door. 
door back there, so let's destroy that. And then... Okay, so there's a door right here. Okay, see so this guy's gonna come out? The guy's gonna come out? Guy's gonna come out? No? No? No guys? Do I like gotta maybe pop this block first? Should I do that? Let's pop this block. For, for the fun of it. Uh, okay. Hit something. Hit something. Okay. Let's... I don't want... I don't want my ship getting shot up if these guys get in behind me. So I think I need to turn this over to the side. Yeah, let's let's park here. Okay. So let's get out. I hear Xerox. And am I ready here? What do I got on me? I've got energy. I don't really need the energy on me or the oxygen. So let's let's leave that. So the energy we can just put here. I'll need that. I'll take my pills and meds and stuff that I have. Let's leave the oxygen in there. I don't need the texture tool. Um drill charge. Don't need my drill because if I do get in trouble, I can at least mine the pataxid and <laughs> jump in the thing, mine the pataxid and leave, right? I uh, won't need my ore scanner. Maybe my multi-tool. Night vision. Oh, there, I did have Kava coffee on me. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Okay, so I think there we go. We've got a fairly clear inventory. Let's go die. I mean, try. Okay, so what is my armor currently? 338, not that great. It's 38 degrees. I could swap out my... You know what? I am going to. That's a good idea. Let me really quickly re remove my boost. Um, oh, oh, oh. No, that's okay. It's just the base. Okay, so, yeah, I think I need to remove my boost right now. Da -da 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 -da. Equipment. SV. And we're going to take the EVA off. And that's going to crank my armor up. 448, there we go. That's better. That's better. I think I can deal with that now. I would have just taken way too much damage before, especially on hard mode. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, looks like we're okay in here. 
A lot of these things are trapped now. Come on, buddy. Come on. Mini gun. Right there. Oh, are you serious? Whoa, that hurt. What the hell was going on? Damn it, there was uh, something else shooting at me then. Let's do this really quick. <sighs> shooting at me. He was. Okay. Okay, so let's do another one really quick. Get this going before more of them spawn. Okay, so let's just step out and kill him. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, come on! There you have it, folks. One shot by what the hell? A shotgun. Oh, man. That was brutal. Well, we'll do current location, obviously. That sucked. I died. I haven't died like ever. Whew. Shit, this might be bad because now these guys are out here, right? Am I going to get my stuff back? Let's try. Because I can't drone it up. Oh shit, there he is right there. And I can just go like this and... run and equip our stuff okay so <laughs> let's get our gun back damn that was a uh, pasting can't believe how much damage he did he like just hurt me bad. Maybe I need armor boosts to deal with them. Because I think at, at, close at close range I was just too screwed. Did I kill the block? That was some shit. Oops. Oh! Did I just kill the base? Oh my god. I did. Mini gun. He's a little pissed at me by the look of it. Let's do this really quick. Not enough. Let's do that some more. Oops. Do that again. <sighs> And again, that means these things won't respawn as I kill them. That's huge. Okay, so let's kill this guy. So I need to reload. Damn, those 
shotgun guys were just crazy nasty. Let's get this guy really quick here. Quick here, nice bullets. And yep, food and bullets and health, good, good. Reload really quick here. And so we've got so I don't think we have to take on the spawner. Oh shit! back up really quick here. And just do a quick <sighs> bandage here. <sighs> quick bandage. Okay. Okay. Damn, those shotguns were nasty at close range. So, there you have it, folks. Wow. Um, shotguns rock. And there's a shotgun upgrade kit. Good to know. You know what? I am definitely making a shotgun when I get back to the CV. Ooh. Uh, scary times. Haha. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, that's expensive stuff there. Is that it then? Okay, so let's see. <laughs> this, this place is so trapped. So good to know you blow up that... Uh, you accidentally blow up the, uh, the fuel and... Uh, <laughs> and, and the base shuts off. So, yeah. Um... I'm gonna to want to loot those too, so I gotta find the uh, the core. Let's go dump this stuff off, though. I was not prepared for the shotgun to, to do so much damage. Wow. Okay, let's uh. Let's just put all this stuff in the constructor for now, that's fine. Nope, actually I don't want to put that in there. Ah, well, screw it, screw it, it doesn't matter. And we can actually put this here. Let's eat some food. Actually gives us a bit of health back too. There we go. Uh, don't need that. Probably don't need that right now, although that's nice. Let's put that down here. And we'll need that. We'll put these down here, that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll put that here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's keep going. is powered down, it's going to make this a lot easier. I wonder what that switch did before. Oh, there's... Oh! Oh! Ooh! Nice! So... Oh, yeah! Nice! Oh! Ooh! An HV artillery turret. Got a rail gun. SV stuff, HV stuff, a couple of harvest modules. Actually, that's kind of a score. It's kind of a score. And, oh, hey, an 
ATM. I kind of needed one. Some offline protection. That would be good, too. Two repair bays. Are you kidding me? Two fuel tanks. Thank you a lot. Uh, T2 generator. Awesome, awesome. Oh, you know what? This is a score, too. Wow. Uh, awesome. Let's check this out. Oh, night five heavy weapon upgrade five. Awesome. I'll take that too. And I'm going to come back for those that generator. Because that's awesome too. Although I can't put a core in. Because you can see I can't. It's... <sighs> it's multiplayer. You got to have regenerals. These things are useless when they get taken out. Okay, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for guys to kill me? Or no, I'm looking for guys to kill. Is there any more guys to kill? How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Is that it? What? I don't get it. How do I get out? Oh, there we go. So I can't see anything because I don't have my light on. And, okay, I don't get it. So, do we keep going up? No. Uh, go outside? No. Okay, so where's the core? Have I missed it? I'm, I'm obviously missing something, right? <sighs> Freaking dirty and durian, whatever. Uh, I don't want to waste all my ammo on that. Let's, well, okay, so it's got to be hidden. It's got to be hidden. Okay, there's another door here, so let's try this. sure what that switch does. There's another door. Oops. What did you have in? Oh, I'll take that. Nice. Rocket launcher, homing missile. Oh, I'm sure it's expensive to make, so might as well take it. And other faction. Okay. Maybe I should use the uh, explosive device. No, okay. There we go. There's a spawner, but I'm not sure if anyone spawned. Doesn't sound like it. There's the core. Okay, so. We've got this explosive device, right? And no more core. Oh, there was another room back there. Nice. Okay, so let's pull out our and I'm gonna go for disassemble because that way at least I'll have a chance of getting whole blocks instead of just 30 percent so let's go find all the, the stuff i already got that but i want yeah, let's get these out of the way there we go uh, i didn't pick it up as a, uh, same with that one too bad okay okay uh now there was a couple other there's some other stuff, right? There was the 
thing up on the roof, the, the uh, rare container up on the roof. About getting these mechanical components, what do I get for the wood planks? Cannot pick up inventory full. Okay. So let's go back to the ship. And then we'll go get those um, other two cargo containers or loot containers and that's probably it. Then I'll just mine up that pentaxin. Okay. So let's dump this off here. Oh, taking radiation. Wow. From my ah, that's from my ship. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, note to self, you can't stand up there unless you have some uber ready, because the warp drive. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, you know what, that's, whoops, I don't want to put that in there. I really shouldn't put that crap in, because it doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, let's go to the cargo box, we go like this. Put these blocks in. Yeah, that. And. Yeah, we can put the rest in the constructor. Put this out. Put that out. Put that out. Put that. Those don't need to go in there. The rest can be used for construction stuff, so put that, that, that goes in there. Let's put this in the cargo box. And then we can do the canned veggies in there, in the fridge. Oh, I forgot completely about my plant protein. <sighs> well, ah, I only died once. That was a lot of blocks, too. Lots of good stuff, and we still got some more to get, so let's go. Okay, so where was that? That was through here, right? And then over. So let's, oops, let's take that. And there's something there. Oh, they have optical. Yeah. Could be grabbing a bunch of this stuff. Hard to steal. It'll help the CV. It'll help the CV spawn. Who uh, multi tool is about a billion times better than the T1. Let's see how fast it is to multi tool something down with the T2. Even, even combat steel like this stuff. But there we go, we're getting into some tricky areas. core, a um, auto miner core, so very nice, very nice, let's keep looking, so I can't use the drone, because I can't spawn the drone here, because this place has regen, okay, Good.
glass, so I can get a lot of this done. So let's start jumping up here. Is there, there wasn't a loot box in here then? This obviously, oh, here we go. There we go, okay. Wow, more repair bays, T2, T1 generators, Emergency rations, large, wow, that's actually a pretty good score. And, meh. That's not the greatest, but it's still, that's okay. Every little bit counts, right? So, but that, that was some good stuff there. That and that, those two items right there, wow. Okay, well this place was awesome to loot, so I think that's it. I think there was, I can't remember where I saw that other container now, if there is one. I don't, oh, it's up there. Okay, so how do we get over there? So we get to it from here. Jump up in, maybe, there we go. What do you got for us? Oh, Uber stuff. Okay, so I am full. I got to come back for that. I'm definitely another repair bay. Oh, plasma turret for HV. Some more CV parts. You know what? Let's, I can actually go like this. So now, because we're full, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blueprint a bunch of this stuff. So I'm going to throw it into the factory. So let's just, you can see it's adding. I do need wood planks, nice. Or you can't add, see it won't let me. Gold, no, auto, oh, what? No, it didn't do an auto miner, did it? It did an auto miner core? I was just joking when I clicked on that. I didn't, I, I, oh crap. <laughs> but, but, I, Ah, uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, don't do that. Uh, that'll contribute quite a bit. I've got one already that I looted, so I don't need a second one. That'll go good in here. See that? Actually, you could see the numbers jump when I did that. Large ammo box. Sure, we'll throw that in there. Another repair bay. Yeah. Oh, it gave me back stone dust. We can put steel plates in there. Manual door box, thruster, blah, blah. Uh, oh, spotlight cube it doesn't contribute? How does that not contribute? But it has to be able to contribute. Uh, okay. Uh, we have the other T2, right? So let's get rid of that. Okay. Now we can go like this and loot this and then go back to the factory and just put all that shit in there so we'll go like this we'll go like that that yeah we're not going to use that or that we can put that there okay and well, we'll do the repair bay too so we're already look at that just from today we've already you know almost a third of the way to just the neo so not bad, we've all, you know, we're getting good, good amounts in there, so, and we're not even close to level 25, so I think we'll be able to spawn this no problem by the time we're level 25, just by doing this sort of stuff, hopefully not dying so much, so there we go, level 15, 92 kills, one death, well guys, I'm going to leave it here, I'm just going to go mine that pen, you don't need me, don't need to see me do that, that's kind of boring, uh, you're here to see me die, and you got to see me die. So, I guess, yeah, that's, uh, 
that's something I don't normally do is die, but it's Alpha 7 and I hadn't experienced a shotgun um, enemy yet. And he blew my freaking brains out. Well, that was fun, guys. I'm going to go mine. And you guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Other than that, you guys need to have an awesome day. Ciao for now.